Media. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. I promised you in the last video, did I not, that I would show you in this video where to find and how to use Windows Movie Maker? Well, never let it be said that I am not a man of my word. Hello, Ted. I didn't realise you were here. Um, I'm going to need to use the computer, Ted. I will need the computer. I promise to show my viewers how to use Windows Movie Maker. Yeah. So I'll, I'll need the computer. Don't do, don't look at me like that, Ted. Don't, don't stare. Do not threaten me, Ted. Do not threaten me. Okay, Ted, you've pushed me too far. Just don't say I didn't warn you. I'm sorry, Ted. It was nothing personal. I just needed the computer. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ted, but you... You just make me so angry. Well, now that we have the computer, Let's see if we can find Windows Movie Maker. So let's find Windows Movie Maker. Okay, click on the Start button, All Programs, and in the list you should find Windows Movie Maker. There it is with the little film reel icon. I gather that in some versions of Windows you will find it in Accessories down here. But I'm running XP, and on XP it's in the main window there. Well, let's click on it and it opens up and there it is Windows Movie Maker now as you can see it's uh, split into various panes this is the movie task pane all the tasks are listed down here this is the collection area this is where your collection of uh, videos all your media in fact will show up there this is the preview screen which is adjustable to any size you like and this is where you do the editing this is called the timeline um, you can show it as a storyboard if you prefer by clicking this button here I prefer the timeline because I think it gives more control so let's start the first thing we must do is import some media you can just drag your files in from the desktop and drop them here as it tells you to there you can do it via file or you can do it just by clicking on import video so that's what we'll do here's the desktop um, I've got a little video there called Teddy and here it is importing Teddy into the collection area and there we have it there's the video imported into the collection um, as you can see Windows Movie Maker has very kindly chopped it up into smaller sequences for me because it was a large clip um, how do we edit it? easy click on one of the sequences drag it with your mouse and drop it on the timeline and there you have it this is that clip to play it you either click the play button here the play button there and it will show you the video playing on this screen like this you'll notice that the cursor here will show you what points in the video you are on the replay screen should you want to edit this clip you can click on the little little black triangle there and you see the two red arrows will form if you now click your mouse button you can drag this and make it smaller or you can drag it back 
and make it bigger. If you would prefer to actually cut the film in half and delete one end, you can do so by pressing this button here, and that will split the film at the points of the cursor, like that. There you now have two clips, which was one clip before and has now been split. Just click restore, put it back as it was. Should you need greater detail when you're editing, you can see two icons here, one with a minus, one with a plus, magnifying glasses. If you click on the plus one, you can see it will zoom it to make it bigger. If you click on the minus one, it will zoom it, make it smaller. Having chosen your first clip of film and trimmed it to size, you can now drag down another clip of film. And in this way, you can build up your movie. Play the clip, you will see the transition from one to the other is a straight move from one clip to the other. But the transitions don't have to be a straight jump. If you go to the movie task pane, click down new video transitions, and you click on those, there's a variety of different ways here you can move from one clip to the other. Uh, let's choose one at random. Both eye horizontal. Just drag your transition to the join between the clips and you'll now see a faded area. That's the transition. And this is what it looks like on the replay screen. And there you go. I'll just move back to the original clip there. Staying with the Movie Tasks pane, if you click on Video Effects, you'll also see there are a number of video effects you can use. Let's choose one at random. What about the old age effect? We've got three of them here. Very, very old, medium old, and not so old. And let's try the oldest one. Again, you simply drag and drop onto the clip of your choice and play that. And they have a very, very old effect. Now, these transitions are great fun to play with and um, the best way to learn them is to play with them. Another way to form a transition between films is of course to fade from one film to the other. This is very simply done. Just grab the video clip with your mouse, press the button and push it onto the other one. And you will see a little triangle form and then this grey area opens up and that is a fade. So if we now run the clip you will see it fade from one to the other and you can move this up and down and the length of this grey bit is the length of your fade. If you want a long long fade like that, you just push it further along. Let's try it. There you go, nice slow fade. So what else can we do with Windows Movie Maker? Well how about adding some titles or credits? Go to the movie task screen and we move down and there it is, make titles or credits. And there's a whole list of things you can do here. Let's choose add title on the selected clip. There we go and a box will open up. That's the main title box and that's the subtitle box. So let's put anything in it for now. Um, this is my title. And as you can see this will show up on the screen. If you click on change the text font and color, this will allow you to change the color of the text and this will allow you to um, make the text fade. As you can see it's barely visible, 46% makes it slightly more visible and so, so on and so forth. This will change the size, this will change the position, you can even choose which typeface you want. Once you've, uh, once you've chosen it, you can click on change the title animation if you prefer on this do various different things with your titles. When all the text has been edited to your satisfaction just click done, add title to movie and you will see it form on the bottom line here. This is, my, this is the length of the title duration. So for example now if you play it as it hits this point you'll see your title appear. If you want your title to be longer click on it, click on the little arrows, drag it out, you can move it about and there's your title. And it's just as easy to add music to your movie. Pop over here, import audio or music, find the particular sound or music you want, and there it is, imported. This is the sound of a cash register. To use it, you simply drag it down to the audio music line. And there it is. Really, it's as simple as that. 
Any video clip you have, you can fade in or out by right-clicking on it. And we'll see fade in, fade out. Let's click on fade out. And now, as I play the video clip, it will fade out at the end. You can do exactly the same with the sounds. Right-click, fade out. Might not be noticeable on this particular sound effect, but there we go, it's faded out. But as I say, the best way to learn to use it is simply play around with it and see what everything does. I tell you what, let's see how quickly we can make a movie using Windows Movie Makers. Let's make a little music video. We'll do it using still images, which are imported into the collection exactly the same way as movie clips, and we'll make it up as we go along. Okay, import pictures. Oh, uh, there we go, we'll have, let's have Let's have all of them. There we have it. Four nice pictures. So, let's arrange them pleasingly on the line. We'll drag that one there. We'll put the zoom down a bit to see what we're doing. Let's have the sunset next. And then we'll have the blue hills. And we'll finish off with winter. Now, as you can see, if we run it now, the transition between them is a bit sudden. So, what we'll do is, we'll fade them into each other, we'll just push it towards each other like that, and like that, and like that, and we've got three fade areas. And now if we play it, we should see that nicely fade into each other. Yes. Lovely. And finally, there we go. It does, however, end abruptly. So. Right click on the last clip and we shall fade out. And now when we rise we should have a nice fade at the end. And there it is. And in fact let's fade in the beginning as well. Same way, right click, fade in. And now when we start the video it should fade in nicely. And it does. Excellent. What about some music? Go up to the movie tasks, import audio music. Sad Piano. There it is, Sad Piano. We'll drag it down to the audio music line. And let's play them together. Oh, very nice. So I'm going to click on the music and fade it in. And then we'll come to the end of the picture sequence. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the audio in half there, like this. On the second half I'm going to right click and delete. So now the music is the same length as the sequence of pictures. And I click on this and fade out. I'll just check that that's going to fade out now. Lovely. And now, just to finish it off, I'll put a title on the very beginning. So I'll put my cursor there, click on Make Titles or Credits, title on the selected clip, My Photos. There we go. Hmm, let's change the text font and colour. We'll change the colour to yellow. OK. I will change the font to... Oh, that's quite nice. So we'll leave it at that, and we'll click on Done, Add Title to Movie. And there it is. Excellent. So there we have it. In a couple of minutes, we've made a complete movie. Just run it through. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to make a movie with Windows Movie Maker. So there we have it. Windows Movie Maker. Your special gift from Bill Gates. So why don't you find it and play around with it, see what you can do with it. And in my next video, as a special treat, I'm going to show you how to make things appear and disappear using nothing more than the magic of Windows Movie Maker. So that's in the next video. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe. After all, that's what makes this whole damn enterprise worthwhile. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.